visible and then he demonstrates it for her like this is what i thought was gonna happen but like i have magic and you don't he so wanted it makes to sense. show it yeah. off too he's like yeah. look what happens when i wear it. yeah look how much of a badass i am compared to you Sander Holt can't see him when he does this. She completely loses track of him, but Gratch is following his ass the whole time. And then eventually starts growling at him, and that's when Richard takes the hood off, and he's like, it's okay. It's okay. It's just me. Calm down. <laughs> but he decides they need to burn all the other capes, so no option two for his wardrobe. He's only going to go mean, with the one choice. You would take that one, though, right? I would. I mean, I would clean it up, for sure, yeah. but... I wonder what would happen if you chose to dye something like that. Like, if you dyed it a color because it's black, would that would that negate? No, there's no way for us to know, but I'm just like, okay, get seven of them bitches, one for every day of the week, different color. <laughs> Richard's probably a lot of earth tones, greens and browns, tans, <laughs> yeah. you know, but like, make it work for you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would think if it's actual cloth that it would work, but I don't, I don't know, fucking know magic. Magic. <laughs> That's, that it makes it all better. The band-aid of the book. Just, yep. It's magic, you know. Magic. Oh. So Danger suddenly grips Richard from out of nowhere, and he's <sighs> like, Gratch, are there any more of these assholes around? Gratch is like, nah, there's not. And then he asks where they came from, and that's when Gratch surveys, he looks around, and he finally ends up taking a long look at the keep before shaking his head and being like, nah, I'm not really sure where they came from, but I feel like that means there's a good fucking chance they came from the keep, right? At least that direction. I mean, I think. It makes sense to me anyways. <laughs> so Richard then turns his attention to Sander Holt's hands, and he's like, what the fuck happened there? And he assumes the Daharans maybe did it because he knows a lot of the Imperial Order soldiers are Daharans. Right. And they're bastards. Oh, so. it's a, yeah, it's a mix. Yeah. She tells him that the Keltish wizard actually ordered it and how she was forced to tell them what they wanted. And she explains that the troops were real brutal at first, but they've chilled out since then. Like, maybe to not really damage what they've now won. They don't want to destroy yeah. the whole city. Just a good chunk of it. Yeah, just a lot of it. <laughs> just enough to, to have it firmly in their grasp. I just think that, okay, you've been with this woman for a little while. Not very long at all, right? Right. Um, and, and you notice her hand, and I don't know, it just seemed weird to me that it was like, whoa, what happened to your hand? Why didn't we talk about this Out of, earlier? If we yeah, were earlier or at a better time. Like, yeah. okay, this is a true story. Two very short true stories. I have a cousin. My cousin was born without a thumb on her left hand. Mm -hmm. I was every single one of 25 years old when I noticed it for the first time. <laughs> Seriously. It had... I. I, I can't explain why I, we were just we were eating i think it was an open house maybe for one of her kids and i just i was talking to her and i looked down and i was like whoa you are missing a thumb and i didn't say shit because that would have been extremely rude so i waited until we were leaving i was with my parents right and so i was like mom so i never noticed her hand before and she's like oh yeah she was literally born that way yeah so nothing happened. It's just the way it was. And it was like, wow. But so I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't just be like, whoa, what happened to your your hand? On, on, on the other flip side of the coin, I also work with a man who has one hand. That was an accident. But I worked with him for, gosh, probably two years before I was like, hey, man, I never asked you what happened to your hand. But we had a rapport. We were comfortable with each other. Like, I don't know. When when somebody is has an obvious difference and you're curious about it immediately, they're probably super self conscious about it too. And I just didn't feel right having my first thing be like, "Whoa, why are you wrong?" <laughs> you know, and and it ended up not being a big deal. He was just like, "Yeah, it's just some shit happened. I won't go into it right now because graphic." But uh, yeah, I was just. I, that's not in me to do that. Oh, I think it, I mean, part of it has to do, she's still bandaged, okay? Yeah. Um, But 
I just, it is weird timing. I feel like they had a, a chunk of time where they were discussing things. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, get it together, Nate. I literally just took a swig of beer and the cat jumped up from behind the couch and made me fucking die. And Jade noticed it and she's like, Ooh. Well, you all heard, yeah. and I just, I couldn't, I I almost covered this microphone in beer. Yeah, that's, I didn't know that's what was happening over there. Okay. Yeah. Um, we got it. We're cool. I'm not really sure where I stopped. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it was just, it was weird timing, because they had a time before the fighting started and all the weird stuff, where they were sitting and chit-chatting and talking, and I feel like, I really feel like this part of the book was was put in there. In case you hadn't read the last one and you needed a refresher on why the Imperial Order were there, who they right. were, because if they were going to have that conversation, they would have had it maybe at the beginning when they first started sitting down. He would have been like, how are you? You look a little rough. What happened to your hands? What happened here? Yeah, work it in somewhere. Yeah, like, they, Kaylin's fine. They got past that. Before you start talking about her childhood... And, like, weirdly trying to press lessons on us, you would maybe cover some history. And we didn't even need to hear it, technically. If you weren't, if it wasn't a plot device just to, like, let us know what was going on, we didn't need to hear this part. Because right. we already know it. Yes. <laughs> now, we're we're readers of the series. Right. Somebody who just jumped in. Because right. all of these books are pretty much standalones as well. Mm-hmm. Or at least there's one major problem. There's, there's definitely... Uh, story arcs that carry through all of the series yeah. but yeah if if you didn't know it would be helpful but we know so a lot of those parts of the book are like yeah, they feel know. a little shoehorned in sometimes but then i fucked up on the whole riswith were made for the hanging woods thing so sometimes a reminder's not bad no it's not <laughs> Especially because, you know, we're drinking while we do this, so yeah. it's helpful to have reminders. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's helpful to, to drink beer. Oh, yeah. It's also helpful to have a break to eat. It's also helpful to have a break to drink some beers. I, I was going to say, we can totally have a break. I want to watch you eat that beer, and we'll capture the audio. You're not going to let me cut out any of the stuff I fuck up, at, and I am having trouble with you. It's basically a live episode. I need this beer right now. <laughs> I can't deal with you. So today is St. Patrick's Day. Yes, officially. So I ha- I'm Irish. I have some Irish in me. Mm. And Cheers. Nate does too. He's got, got, a little he's got bit. some in there. Uh, so we celebrate. Uh, we're not going all out this year. We normally actually don't go to like part you know the people downtown who go drink we the green beer buy good beer mm-hmm. take it home and then drink it yes that's that's how we celebrate we don't do the whole that's a like, true irish wood shamrocks in our hair let's go yeah, down and get do all that, but... you know food coloring in our beer but we did buy green cans <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we thought it was a different beer, but it's not. We've had this one before. Yep. It's just a green can. It's left-handed brewing companies, milk stout nitro. Mm. It's delicious. We like it every time we have it. It's uh, it's real good. It's good. And it's in a green can for St. Patrick's Day, which is not exciting for you guys because you can't see it. But uh, we like it, and we're going to keep drinking it. Very, very much. I will say, I know for a fact, this is a very chuggable beer. Uh, one of the last vacations Jade and I <laughs> took, we, we went to California and we stopped in Colorado for just a moment. And we were there long enough for me to get my hands on one of these. And then our plane was leaving. They were making the <laughs> announcement like as they brought our drinks. So I was like, okay, I'm going to finish this right now. And then I did. I mean, there was no ill effects. It was delicious. Just to illustrate that there was actually not a lot of time, I'm just going to say, I didn't even order a drink because I knew there wasn't enough time to drink it. But there was. And I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't going to pay for a beer I can't drink. Like, that's not worth it to me. Nate took one for the team and slammed it. I took a sip. But, I mean, I like beer a lot, so there has to be a very limited amount of time for me to not take the chance and, right. and buy the beer. I went for it. Yeah, you did. I you was made it work. fully prepared. I knew, because I knew that... Um, 
we had a plane to catch. So if it came down to it, I was going to have to abandon the beer because I'm not missing a fucking plane. Not happening. <laughs> um, but it came just in time. And I was like, okay, I can slam this in about, I don't know, 30 seconds. I'm not talking like a Mr. Fox gulp and it's gone, but I was like, okay, there's enough to do this and be gone. And I drank the whole beer and, and as we were leaving, I was like, you know, that was really good beer. I didn't <laughs> mind. And it wasn't hard to slam either. So, and just in case you're, you're going out for St. Patty's day, or maybe you're drinking in, I know it's going to be after St. Patty's yep. day. By the time you hear this, <laughs> <laughs> that thought just occurred to me, but this one, uh, you can drink a bunch of. Uh, people and are going to celebrate recommend. this weekend. Yeah, this weekend. Yeah. So, so get you some for the weekend. Yeah. You will enjoy it. I'm going to get more right now. We absolutely should. So we're going to do that, and we'll be back right after these messages. From your sponsors. <laughs> no, our sponsors. Our Never sponsors. Never mind. Never mind. They're, they're not even our sponsors. It's a Marshall. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You did it again! I was really thinking I was going to get in there before you hit the button. I really, really was, because I just looked at him. Just randomly. I love my cat. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, that was perfect. That's three for three. I don't think I'm going to edit that either. Straight facts. <laughs> All right. On to the chapter. We're back! We're back. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way. So, Mistress Sanderholt, also, wait, you're just calling her Sanderholt. Yeah, why would I add an extra word for me? <sighs> it's much harder to say Mistress Sanderholt than I'm, like, I gave you credit for in the first whole half of this <laughs> thing. Yeah. If I can get away with just saying Sanderholt, I would like to do that. I would. I'd... So, I'm well, going to do I that Don't ask now. permission. Okay, done. <laughs> Just do. <laughs> you call these people whatever you want to call. People will figure it out. <laughs> so M. Sandy also fills it in <laughs> on what happened when the Daharan War ended and how the Imperial Order came to power. With the Daharans, <laughs> you like that? With the Daharans following the Keltans since they didn't fear magic the same way. Keltan. Keltan. It is not Keltan. In fact, it is spelled K-E-L-T-O-N-S. I I don't know. A little piece of me feels bad because I'm like, I don't want to bash the guy. He's doing his job. And I enjoy his reading. I really, really do. But that, that like, mm, I can't get over it. There's no A. There well, is no A. I feel like you could go a couple. You could go Keltans. You could go Keltons. You know, if you wanted to lean into it, it one way or another, well, you that, could. it's that, it's Keltone. See, see, you could, you could lean into it one way or another. He just, he went away. But there's, that's literally. There's no way. That's when yeah. you showed that to me. When you, when you told me about it, the first thing I said was, "But there's no a." Right. And then I listened to it, and it was just. Oh, it was oh. blatant. <laughs> Did you think he was gonna do it? It was gonna be like a subtle. Yeah, cal- I kind of thought Caltan. it wouldn't wasn't gonna be quite as bad as you made it seem. I don't lie, man. But I was. Definitely wrong. It's just... Oh. Hit your ear wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you do the read-along thing, and then it's an O. And so it's just so clear that he's not supposed to be saying that. I, I, I could go on for a minute. Yeah, you I could. won't. But... <laughs> <laughs> so Richard promises that they won't let the Order have Aiden Drill or the Midlands. Sander Holt doesn't believe him and tells him to remind Caitlin of the people that were devastated to see her beheaded and that the memory of the Midlands will live on. Super sad. She's all like, uh, yeah, yeah, but like, it'll be fine that we're all going to pair. Like that all of the Midlands is going to go down. It's OK. Just tell Caitlin we'll remember. Richard tells her not to give up hope just yet. Look, it looks really bad. OK really bad <laughs> uh but we could still pull this thing off and you know as as far as kaylin is concerned if she loses all hope this is just what i took from it if she sees that or like knows that all the people were happy that she was beheaded she might give up and if she gives up like richard is the seeker but she's the one that's actually supposed to be in charge of the midlands so if she gives up 
there is no Midlands anymore. It becomes just a bunch of different little countries. Yeah, and I guess that's Richard's point, too. Even Sanderholm. 